Welcome to the first developer diary for F1 2011. This is the next step for us and it's something that we'll keep pushing forward. Some people think it's just about updating the teams and drivers and you just ship the next year's game out. Um, it's nothing like that at all. There's a, a stack of new things in there. Multiplayer is a big, big focus for us in 2011. I think, I think it's one of the important things that we have to try and capture this year is get more people involved in playing online. Uh, we've moved up to 16 players online uh, this year and full grid, 424 car grid. Co-op championship mode, that, that's a huge thing. Being able to play with a teammates, one of your pals throughout a season. We have split screen as well. The bragging rights in, in the living room. It's not just about adding a host of new features, it's about polishing the things that we had in there last time as well or rewriting them if, if necessary. The big step forward is the car handling. We've really made significant gains there. The AI is now much more capable of making decisions, making intelligent decisions. We're all experiencing this uh, 2011 season for the first time and, and, and these elements are really bringing so much more to the strategy and the racing. Such a better experience in terms of racing round, when do you deploy your curves, when, you know, are you in the DRS zone, the tyre strategy elements, I mean it's all really really going to play into a, a much more complete experience this year. Uh, Live the life is also a lot more cinematics and a lot more immersion. It just means it's a, whole, a much more complete package this time around. First impressions are really good. Um, big improvements all round from, from last year's game. The physics, graphics, just, it seems a lot more real. It's a massive improvement over F1 2010. Really looking forward to its release. 